my friends, Eric Andreas, your guitar sage, and today we're gonna learn Sex on Fire. For those of you uh, playing in more family-friendly bands, you could play the band, the, the song Chex on Fire, uh, as I used to do in my uh, church band. Uh, Chex, as in Chex Mix. We throw a little bit of, um, uh, in, you know, flaming, alcohol or something on it, let that burn off, and then uh, you had cooked Chex Mix, um, Chex on Fire. You get it? Uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm here to teach you how to play Sex on Fire the way that the boys play it from, um, uh, what's that little band called? Um, Kings of Leon, yes. In just a few miles down the road from Nashville here in um, Mount Juliet, I believe those boys are from. And, um, yeah, anyhow, love these guys. I'm going to show you how to play both parts the way that the boys play it. So a little history behind the song. As you know, uh, Caleb um, had an op... You may not know this, had an operation on his arm, and he had to did have a lot of mobility, and so that's how he came up with this beginning part here. And the rest is history, and the boys jumped in, and they wrote a great song. So here we go. I'm going to show you these different parts. I'm obviously in standard tuning, and uh, no capo or anything like that a little bit of fuzz or a little bit of distortion on my amplifier and that's about it. So um, I'm going to play each part for you and um, here we go. It's going to go something like this. First off, this beginning lick is just going to be on strings six and five, okay? And the first part of the lick, we're pedaling on the low E string. And then you're going to be playing frets 14 and 16 on the fifth string, something like this. between the two. So you just start off with the low E string. And then right away on the downbeat you're going to be playing the ninth fret of the E string and that's going to be your pedal and then you're going to use your pinky and your third finger to play frets. 12 and 11 on the A string. Now Caleb slides his finger up, but I like to use my pinky here. Caleb does. So, either way, sounds the same. And uh, so that's the beginning, okay? part is going to be, the only other part that Caleb does is during the chorus, okay? Now this is the part that a lot of people get wrong because they're listening to the bass and they're moving the guitar, the, the rhythm guitar line with the bass. I'm considering Caleb as the rhythm guitar and Matt as the lead guitar. But a lot of people get this wrong. I've seen folks play this uh, many different ways and, um, and they're getting it wrong. It's not the way the guys do it. The way the guys, the way Caleb does this is um, he's, he's picking this um, octave figure, which if you don't know how to play octaves on the guitar, um, you can watch my video right here by typing your guitar sage octaves, and I have a little octave study for you, okay? So wait, what Caleb's doing is he's going, uh, so this is the, the chorus, okay? Um, he's playing strings five and three, so this is an octave. All the other notes are muted. You have to be able to do that. You can watch my video on left hand muting. Type in your guitar stage left hand muting if you have any issues with that. Okay, so this is the, uh, during the, the Sex is on Fire chorus. He's gonna go. So he's 
sliding up from the ninth fret using the same figure and sliding up to the twelfth fret. So his fingers are on the twelfth fret and the fourteenth fret. And that's of strings five and three. Okay, don't do five and uh, four. Do five and three. That's what he does. If you do five and four, it'll sound okay, uh, but it's not exactly what he's doing. He's doing this. <laughs> That's it, as far as Caleb's part. Now, as far as Matt's part, um, he's got a few other little bits that he does here, okay? So, we got this figure as I was doing in the, in the intro, uh, the, uh, we got that part, and then Matt, what Matt's doing is he's doing this, uh, he's, there's several parts that he does. One part is going back and forth between a D minor chord and an E major chord, and there's different, several different ways to play this. I play it with these bar chords. I play a, a D flat minor chord and an E major. These are basic bar chords. If you need to know about how to play these, type in your guitar stage bar chords. You'll see a guy who looks a lot like me, except he has a crazy Fu Manchu, and it's a two-part series. And when you walk away with 300 chords from a two-video series, what more can you ask for, right? So watch that video. Um, I'll show you how to play these bar chords. But um, the way Matt plays it is he plays this version, which is also a version of a D flat minor chord. He plays it up here instead of, instead of this one. But he only plays strings two, three, and four. And he's playing like this. So he's doing some left hand muting here. If I didn't mention to you already, you need to know how to do left hand muting. Your guitar sage left hand muting. I also have one on right hand muting, but in this case here, we, we, got, we have to learn how to not play all the strings at once. And we can do that very easily by, um, by using our left hand muting techniques or fretting hand muting, if you will. Okay, so he goes like this. Now I play this version of it with that low E in there, but you could just as well. Those are your two chords, okay? So I play. And so this funky strum that he's doing here is um, you go, you're only hitting upbeats. This is almost like a reggae, or it is a reggae style strum. Song doesn't sound reggae, but that's what that's what he's doing. He's doing all upbeats. It's a ska bit, okay? So you strum up, karate chop the strings on the downbeat. Takes a little getting used to, okay? No one learned to play guitar overnight. It takes time. Ada Van Halen sucked at guitar as well as Jimi Hendrix and me and everybody else who's ever played guitar until they started practicing a lot and then they got better. You gotta practice, okay? So, those are your two chords, basically. When you're hearing him go back and forth, it's a D, it's a D flat minor and an E major. Okay, then there's this bit where he goes, where he goes, it's very simple. We're at the fourth position, meaning our first finger is behind the fourth fret. And this is the first, the first three notes is going to be walking up the scale. Basically, you're going to be on the fourth, sixth, and seventh fret of the fourth string. And I'm doing right hand muting. Again, if you want to, you want to know more about muting, your guitar sage, right hand muting, and I'll teach you all about that. And so he goes... So he hits this, basically we're hitting, on the fourth fret, we're hitting uh, the second string and the third string, so. So basically the two high notes are played out, not muted, 
but so the walk up and the walk down are muted so that's all the verse part that Matt's playing okay so you got the you got the reggae chords and you got the Okay, and then there's one section where, where he's actually playing these chords and he's going <laughs> playing down strokes, uh, down beats, and I'm playing there. What I do is uh, I play E major, this would be a A flat, power chord, and a D flat power chord. So any version of those that you want uh, will work for this, okay? There's only one little section that he does that uh, while there's an overdub guitar going. So if you want to skip that part, you can. You're going to have to skip one of the parts because it's like three guitars playing at once at that point. Okay. All right. So, uh, by the way, these are power chords. If you don't know how to play power chords, your guitar sage, power chords, I'll teach you how to do that, okay? All right, now, the coolest part of the tune, right? The chorus, the part that Matt plays is super, super cool. And it goes like this, it goes. song so super easy part and it marries so nicely with Caleb's part of okay now trust me on this Caleb's part there what you're hearing the movement the chord movement that you're hearing is done by the bass do not be confused if you want it to sound right if your bass player is playing the right thing play Caleb's part here Matt's part played by your other guitar player or you, it's gonna sound real nice, okay? So this next part here is played on the first and second string. And so here you got the first fret, or the, fir the first finger on the fourth fret, and your second finger on the fifth fret. And it's gonna go like this. You're gonna slide that whole bit up to the 11th fret, but you're gonna lift up the first finger. Then put it down. Then slide it down, but this is going to be at the 7th and ninth fret. So it's going to go like this. Or you could play this with 1 and 3. So. have this really cool uh, bit here uh, it reminds me of uh, like an Iron Maiden lick here uh, run to the hills they do this similar thing here but basically what you're doing is basically you're playing this note here which is the 11th fret of the first string and you're bending this note here which is the 14th fret of the second string and you're bending it up to the pitch of this note right here which happens to be a D sharp or an E flat creates that crazy warbly sound. And then you're going to bring that note back down so it's so the bending note's going to go But you're holding the two notes together. And then again and basically here you're putting your second finger on the ninth fret of the second string and playing the open E, open. Make sense? Ho ho, right? Easy enough. 
All right, that's it, my friends. If you like this video, hit thumbs up, hit subscribe. Probably got buttons all around this place. Uh, any questions about this, hit me up below or on Facebook, Twitter, and all that good stuff. I'm all there, Instagram, all that fun stuff. Um, please let me know how I can help you. No one learned guitar overnight. The only guys that are good, the only guys and gals that are good are the ones that are practicing. If you're not practicing, then you're sucking. Non-practice equals suck. Practice equals good. Uh, it's just, that's how it is. Uh, except you need good instruction. That's my job. That's why I've got free stuff for you. Go to yourguitarstage.com, get the free ebook. Got 700 something videos here on YouTube. Go to the Unstoppable Guitar System. System, Unstoppable Guitar System. Link is below. You can get in there for $1. That's my inner sanctum place where I'm teaching you basically one-on-one -on -one HD video of over 350 some odd uh, videos on that site will help tremendously in step-by-step -step fashion as if I'm sitting there right in front of you instead of you flying to Nashville to see me, okay? And spending a lot more money. So do that. Go there. Check it out. One dollar. Less than a bottle of Dasani water. Please let me know how else I can help you. Please be kind to one another. Be kind to animals. Spay and neuter. You know, you know the, 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 uh, the speech here. Um, don't trust the man and practice your guitar. See ya.